Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Demon Slayer. What's going on, guys? My name is Jack the Bush. You can call me I should be welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have episode 21 of our Demon Slayer watcher named Against Core Rules. I'm guessing that means the Demon Slayer Core. I'm gonna guess that this alludes to the rules that Tanjiro and all of them might have broken during this mission. But come to think of it, I'm not really sure what they did. As of course, last episode we saw the Hashiras come in, Kocho, who I absolutely simp over, and Giyu, who I also absolutely simp over. They really cleaned up these fights, finished off the last two spiders. We saw Ryu's true emotions, how he just wanted that brother-sister bond. I mean, the last shot was his head just laying there what, looking at Nezuko and Tanjiro, seeing Tanjiro protect Nezuko. And of course, we got the flashback with the female spider who she was kind of roped into everything. But then again, that spider mindset it gave her that evil mentality. I'm guessing we're going to see the conclusion of this fighting and what Giyu and Kocho are going to say to Tanjiro and all them. And maybe next steps, because we still have five more episodes. Oh, well, I guess, yeah, this one and five more. So we're not even done yet. Guys, just before we hop into it, if you're new to the channel, drop a sub, hit that big wood bell you'll miss any future episodes come about like on this one let's just hop right into it flashback it has the blurred lines of flashback <gasps> that's the spider boy oh man his hair is kind of just it was spider like even whenever he was just a, a human oh Rui, not ryu Mm, so he was a lot different than than the other kids dang dude this ad they're just gonna make me feel more and more bad for this kid i get that you're supposed to hate muzan more because it, he's the one that's inherently caused all this but still dude Rui's so evil against koru i see the butterflies same flashback so he wasn't able to play outside with the other kids and stuff yeah so moves on paid a visit said hey you can you can be a normal like a normal well inherently normal like move normally he just preys on people that need it like we even saw the one guy who had no friends and his father i wasn't proud of him the drum demon he was his father just preys on people that he knows what we'll I have to say yes. So he was like a spider type from the beginning. Whoa. The animation. He never had that. Well, I mean, perhaps his parents had cared about him beforehand. Is he saying his like, father fulfilled that role? Was it a sibling? Or another person. Oh, you can tell they weren't happy about it. Maybe they thought they were putting him out of his misery? I don't know. I'm guessing he turned it around. Oh, man. That's heavy. Hmm. Oh my god. She said, that, that is why he did it though. Because he wasn't born with a regular body. That's so sad. Even in death, they were. Yeah. Oh my god. And he killed them without even thinking about it. It was just self defense to him. He said it went over his head. So all his life he just searched for that bond again, but he tried to artificially create it. Just implant it, sow these seeds. Mm. Yeah, like I said, this just makes us want to hate Muzan more. Hate the main villain more. He was never a main villain. He's just more supporting factor for that. So was every, pretty much every other demon we've seen Tanjiro or someone else kill up until now. They're all regretful in death. He did everything he could to try and get that back. Oh, 
強くなればなるほど人間の頃の記憶も消えていく自分が何をしたいのか Every single demon they make me feel bad for, dude. But well, it's rightfully done. It's not like shoehorned in. Except the swamp demon. The first really prime example was the girl with the bouncing balls. And Tanjiro can sense it. Dude, even after all that, Tanjiro recognizes his true spirit. What it felt like. Oh man. Oh, really, dude. To see his parents. I can't. Dang, that is dark, but at the same time, we're happy to see him. Jesus. I wonder if that's like representing. Oh my god. Dang, dude, that is so sad. Like I said, it just makes us. It's the plot point. Oh my god, Giyu. Jesus, dude. Just the plot point to further make us hate Muzon. Boy, Giyu's a polar opposite. I guess being a Hashira, you see a lot. Maybe that's against core rules. That's a whole overarching theme of the show. How they were human. God dang, dude. It already feels like we've been through so much after 20 episodes. We have, honestly. Like I said, almost every demon we've seen has... He's seen the good side of them in death. Recognizes her. No! No! She's a good demon! <laughs> Oh my god! She said, oh my! <laughs> the butterflies? I like how you rem remember Nesco. <laughs> dang! God dang! No one likes you! I feel like they have a really headbutting relationship. You can kind of tell. Their personalities would definitely clash. <laughs> God dang, all his hair fell out. Saitama? This, this doctor or whatever has got some creepy eyes. Thanks, really incredible medicine, too. Kocho's insane. Is he okay? His breathing. <laughs> Kakushi. Kakushi. I'm guessing those are like medical demon core. Oh, well, the spiders are seemingly gone. Unless there's a secret one. Dude, is it all over? All the conflict? Oh no, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, at least try to explain to her, please? I think he knows. I love how straightforward she is, though. Despite the fact that she's trying to kill Nezuko right now, she's like, hey! By the way, that's a demon. Oh my god! How are they gonna convince her to, to leave Nezuko alive? I bet Giyu and her are a relatively even match, too. But his blade is larger, and she can't inherently use hers against Giyu because it'll poison him. Oh. Wow, Giyu breaking core rules. 
I feel like that's a pretty big deal considering like how seriously he takes killing demons. I guess it was from the start. That was the whole thing was I can't believe he left him alive. Make your body move. Where's Inosuke? Zenitsu would want to protect her too. Oh. Who's chasing after? It's another Hashira, isn't it? Oh my gosh, they're actually gonna fight. Oh, she's gonna just dip? I mean, she might be faster than him. Just try and catch- yeah, just try and catch up to Tanjiro. Who's the other chasing after Tanjiro? It looks like a skirt. She's wearing like a kimono. <laughs> How will they be able to convince her though? I mean, this goes a demon. There's no going around it. The other one? The other one. Oh, he stopped her. I'm guessing she means another Hashira. Oh. Wait, she looks a lot like Kocho. Like her sister? Oh no, dude. Get up, Nesco! No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Run! <laughs> she just knocked him out. Oh no! No, dude! Run, little Nesco! Oh shoot! The skills to pay the bills. Run, little Nesco! <laughs> She's so freaking cute, dude. Dodge, Bob, weave. She's different. She's not a regular demon. She's so cute. Oh. I don't think he's saying it would. Oh my god! <laughs> That's against core rules. Explain! I feel like. I mean, we haven't learned that much about Giyu just in general, but he's definitely been through something similar. Wait, did we get a flashback? Looks like it's been a minute since we watched episode one. Was that their two birds? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. The big bosses upstairs want to talk to him. Or unless they're the crow, the bird's just lying. She's so cute! Dude, she should just stay in that, like, tidy child form all the time. It's so adorable. Boy, that was, uh, that was intense. The two Hashiras against each other. What about Inosuke? She broke his jaw? Is that from her kick? <laughs> Oh! Just the trousers. Oh, dude, I mean, that's not your average Joe Demon, Inosuke. Wow. That's the first time we're seeing him doubt himself. Or is it Nitsu? I bet the bird's happy, though. Finished treatment. Wait, those little babies? Like the baby spiders? But healing those two, they can? Oh. Is she really? Butterfly Mansion. Oh, so yeah, like medical or... I guess cleanup means like removal of bodies too. The sun. It's beautiful. Isn't it so, so adorable? Just in his little mummy wrap. Oh, man. It's like a breath of fresh air. I wonder what they're going to tell Tansho and Nesco at the headquarters, though.
Just got her in her box. They, it, this feels like the end of like the series or like, I guess the end of the arc. Can't believe there's still five more. Everything feels so calm. The headquarters? Whoa! One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa! Those guys look sick! Okay, this dude can definitely one shot literally anyone in the show. You know, Kocho. Ooh, mama. This dude looks like he could take on this dude. And this guy kind of gives me the vibes of Lamillion from MHA. Like, super powerful, but really nice. Oh, dude, these Hajros look sick. I'm honestly in fear of this monstrosity. Well, well, well. We have concluded that entire spider arc thing. We got a really nice scene with Rui. I'm glad it kind of wrapped up his story in the same way it did a lot of the other demons where you, you feel bad for him. Because inherently, like I said, it just makes you want to hate Muzan even more. Despite the fact that all the villains they fought up until now have wanted to kill them relentlessly, they still all have these backgrounds in which they were manipulated. And that's so the seeds for them to manipulate others down the line, the path of pain, the cycle, have you. But now I feel like we're going to learn a lot more about the Demon Slayer core, especially meeting all these Hashiras. Perhaps the relationship between all the Hashiras, how they all feel about Giyu, like she said, they all don't like you or no one likes you. But it's just because he's closed off. He's just one of those characters. Guys, that's been it for episode 20. 21 of our Demon Slayer watch through. Let me know if you thought of the episode down in the comments below. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. As per usual, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.